With rolling blackouts across our area, neighbors are being asked to conserve power to avoid further interruptions, a rule that should apply to everyone. Uh, but CBS 13's Laura Havely is getting answers from state and local agencies about why their building's lights were on full blast during one of the hottest nights of the year. Laura. Well, not just local agencies, businesses and medical centers like Kaiser Permanente here still with their lights on at this late hour. Now, the company tells me the lights inside are on timers, but based on what we saw last night and tonight, they don't turn off. This is just one example of big buildings downtown keeping their lights on while California is in the middle of an energy emergency. On the brink of blackouts, California's energy agency issued a flex alert statewide, asking neighbors and businesses to lower their energy use. But our CBS 13 crew found not everyone is heeding the call for conservation. Our camera captured government buildings Monday night in downtown Sacramento with interior lighting left on with no signs of anyone working inside during the holiday weekend. All five floors at the Sacramento County Courthouse were glowing Monday night. The California California Employment Development Department left lights on multiple floors and the district attorney's office was also lit up. We have been prepared for this incredibly intense heat wave. pg e spokesperson Megan McFarland tells CBS 13 the agency issued conservation requests from all neighbors, though not every building is powered by the utility company. The request is statewide. Flex alert are the last stop before a rotating outage and if everyone does their part, cuts down on energy use is Touch down on air conditioner usage. Cal ISO doesn't have to move to rotating outages. And that would be the same for businesses too. The state tells us lights are occasionally left on in buildings for security purposes and cleaning. The county says buildings do have their thermostats turned up and they're asking staff to unplug unnecessary equipment. But is that explanation good enough? But if they're asking for the residents to cut off theirs and I think, I mean, everybody else should be able to have to do the same things to conserve electricity. Kaiser Permanente was also lit up near Doco, a building without any patients, only tech equipment and offices. Kaiser tells CBS 13 they are increasing the thermostat levels and exploring additional ways to conserve energy at their downtown location. Now, they are relying partly on generator power to keep some of their systems up and running. But, of course, it's going to take a group effort throughout the rest of the week to make sure that statewide there's enough energy to go around. Yeah, interesting. Laura Hayfley shining a light on this bright building downtown. Several of them. Thank you.